Hey everybody, welcome back to Chef Dog. Now here at Chef Dog, we review Costco food usually, but sometimes we also review Costco stuff. It's the Frigidaire Black Stainless Steel Countertop Ice Maker. Now this is going for $79.99 at Costco right now. We're gonna give you guys a quick review. This is what it comes in. Figured you didn't wanna unpackage it for you, but and, you know, waste your time. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is how, you, how it comes, right? Air shoots out the side, sucks air in over on this other side. It's a stainless steel, that's like a black stainless steel. Nice looking piece of appliance. It's, it's actually pretty heavy, nice. Feels like it's built well. Here you go folks, we're gonna show you how to use it. Now what we did is I don't wanna use tap water for my ice cubes because that tastes nasty. We uh, have this Kirkland uh, water purifier. Take that out and then you fill this up. And in there, you'll see that it has a max line right there. Can you see that? Now in here also there's a, there's a little tray filtery thing down there that filters maybe larger objects. Shouldn't have any in there. And then also there's a plug underneath that you can use to drain it out with. Make sure that plugs in so you don't have water start spilling all over. Okay, put the tray back in, turn it on. Now you can select the size of ice cube you want. Now these are bullet shaped ice cubes. We're gonna go with the large one. It's pumping the water up, you can hear it. It's pumping it up into this tray and you can see those metal things up there. They get ice cold. It's been about a little over five or six minutes. And then it'll dump it into the tray. And there you go, folks. There, there, there it is. Those are the larger bullet size. They're kind of hollow in the middle. Well, we just put it on for the small bullet size ones. Tell me if you can tell a difference. So I have large and small in there. Can you tell a difference? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> So they look exactly the same size to me. I imagine it just it freezes for a shorter period of time to make them smaller. Uh, it, it seemed like it took the same amount of time as it did on the large. So right now, the size large and small, uh, they come out identical. Produces 10 bullet sized cubes at a time. It says it can produce 26 pounds of ice in 24 hours. Also, it says an ice full and an add water indicator on here. Obviously, when you run out of water, the light will turn on for you. When the ice is full, these that right there, these indicators, when it gets up high enough and you get in front of that, it, it'll block those and the light will turn on. It also has a self-cleaning mode. Hold down the on and off button for five seconds. Um, it kicks into a cleaning, a self-cleaning mode, probably drains the tubes out and stuff like that. And then it says, give it 30 minutes and then dump out the water. It's not very loud. Uh, you can just pretty much hear the fan going is all. Wouldn't bug me at all to have it going. If you RV and you have power where you're going, to take this camping with you. We're gonna use it for that. I think that that's why we bought it. All right, we wanted to see how long it would take to fill up the basket. It's been about two hours and there you go. The basket, I would say is full. Now, one thing that's interesting though, is as it drops it off onto here, this ledge, it actually blocks the sensor and shuts it off. So if you don't move the ice back into the tray, push it into it, it won't turn on and the tray won't be full. So if you so if you want the tray to be full, you need to make sure that you move the ice off so that these sensors aren't blocked. That'll make sense when you see it because it drops it right here at the ledge. See those sensors? It'll block it once it spills over here, builds up and then it just turns it off. So you got to keep moving it at, away from it to keep it going. Okay, so my overall review of this would be if you have an ice maker in your fridge, you're probably not gonna need this or wanna use it a whole lot because it does take a while to even get a lot of ice, right? If you're gonna be at a party or you're gonna be out somewhere camping or something like that and you want more ice, the ice cubes are kind of fun to chew on. I don't think we're gonna use it a lot. If I'm not at home somewhere and I need to take it and have ice, I might use it there, but I'm, we'll probably just stick to using the ice, ice we have here. So what we're doing too is we, we leave it running so that there's always ice in there. Now what'll happen is it'll melt through the night, it'll kick back on and dump more ice and it melts right back into itself basically. So there's really no need to turn it off. It stays running and you'll always have fresh ice like that. And it fills up really quick too. You don't need to turn this off. You can keep it running if you want to and you'll uh, you know, always have good cubed ice. And one other thing too, there's nowhere to put this. So you either set it you know, on the table or whatever or you set it on top, or I guess you set it on the inside to take up space. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do, but for now it's gonna go right there, but they should have put a handle. All right, and just so you know the dimensions on it, it's 14.1 inches deep, and then height wise is 12.9 inches, and then width is nine and a half inches wide, just so you know. 
Okay. Well, there's your uh, there's re your review. And if you like what we do here at Chef Dog, subscribe, tell your friends. And again, we, we appreciate everybody for your support. Have a good one.